It's the new year. It's the new decade as well. So happy new year to all of you. 2020 is um, looking quite interesting and I can't wait to see what unfolds. I've been away from creating art for a bit. Uh, the last video I did was for my patrons and even that video was quite a departure from what I'm used to doing. Um, I've noticed that whenever I take a break, when I get back into it, it's always quite different. What I produce is maybe like a different style or in this case, it's not really a different style, but instead of using more subdued colors, I have gone from bold and bright. <laughs> And my guess is that it's probably due to the weather we're having right now. Currently, we're having freezing rain over here in, in Montreal and most of the parts of the province. And so the days and nights kind of merge <laughs> into each other. It's very, very dark. So I needed some fun colors. And what I'm going to be doing right now is creating very loose uh florals it didn't start out to be that way but then I decided to turn it into uh, flowers in a vase and the shapes are very organic mm, my usual flowers you know I don't do any any flowers that are realistic and then I'm going to give it um, a fun treatment so it starts out as being very loose and it will become a little bit more structured so i'm going to leave you to watch what i'm creating right now and i'll come back in a bit to talk more about the painting and the process also i just want to mention that all the supplies will be listed in the description of the video as usual so if you're watching on a mobile device you'll have to click on that little black arrow which you'll find at the bottom of the uh, video window and if you're watching on a computer you'll notice that there is a show more bar uh, somewhere underneath the video so you'll just have to click on that and then you'll expand the description and just scroll down until you see supplies list I'm adding green leaves, uh, green blobs. <laughs> These will be, they'll remain untouched. Uh, I use those as fillers once I've installed all the flowers and I started painting the vase. I am still using that big fat uh, number 10 round brush because I wanted to preserve the looseness of the painting. Sometimes when I switch to a smaller brush, because I'm you'll notice that I'm going around some of the shapes that I've done. Um, it, there's a danger of me um, going into what I call micro painting. <laughs> it's the same as micromanaging essentially is that I will be, have a tendency to refine too much and then all of a sudden your loose painting starts being a little bit too detailed. Uh, I kind of went that way on the face eventually but um, I will explain that later. Uh, the other tip that or trick that I uh, use sometimes to remain loose is that I will reach for a flat brush. So either a big round brush or a flat brush will help definitely because it's so much harder to add details with a big brush than with a small one. I added a bit of that dark color as well on the flowers part just to uh, tie everything together 
I felt like if I hadn't done that, the eyes would have gone right to the, the vase and forgot about the flowers, although they're quite bright, so it would have been a little bit difficult for the eyes not to notice, but anyways. So now I'm going to switch to a small brush, but that is because I have a specific gold in mind. Uh, gold. Oh, I said gold. Well, uh, that's not far from the truth. I wanted to outline the flowers with a large line of gold and I had no idea if this was going to ruin the painting or not but I just went for it and I absolutely love the effect. I outlined them uh, without uh, compromising their shape so they're still the painting to me the painting still looks loose uh, but it just provides a little bit of structure around the flowers, a uh, little bit of whimsy, whimsical quality to it. I don't know. It just pleases me. It's gold. There's no other explanation. <laughs> you know me by now. If I have an opportunity to add gold to any of my paintings, I will do it. Um, I've never mentioned this, but I really hate doing voiceovers. <laughs> I've been trying to do this bit a uh, few times now, but here's some line work that I'm adding to the vase, and I used Dr. P.H. Martin's pen white ink, and the lines are done in the same fashion as the rest of the painting. They're quite loose. They're not equidistant. Uh, they're thick and thin within the same line. It's fine. It's all good. Although I know that I will also get comments about having a steady hand, which I kind of do, I have to admit, but I practice that. And there's a couple, oh, here's my mistake. <laughs> I loaded my brush too much. Uh, there's a couple of mis uh, not mistakes. Well, yeah, you can do mistakes and this is how you learn, but there's a couple of tricks that you can use uh, to get better at line work. Of course, a practice, like I've mentioned, and also you can, um, instead of moving your 
wrist or your hand. Um, it helps if you keep your forearm very straight. And what I'm moving essentially is just from my elbow. So essentially I'm rotating um, or I'm, how can I say this? Sometimes I even move my shoulder. It sounds really awkward, but it's not. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that your hand and your wrist have to be very immobile. Immobile? Immobile? Yes, as one. <laughs> Guys, I'm leaving this one and I'm not redoing this part. <laughs> I think you know what I mean. Um, essentially, I'm just moving the whole arm and not my wrist. Yes, we're good with that one. <laughs> the lights are flickering here, so I gotta hurry. I'm afraid the power is gonna run out, uh, which is typical when we get an ice storm. So anyways, uh, this is how I decided to correct the mistake. Also, I will add a gold uh, bend around the top of the vase and some decorations to the flowers and we're done. I love the way this one turned out. It was fun to do once I've decided to just let go. So this is my advice for you today. If you are re-entering the creative phase uh, after a long break, just go for it. Just, there's no other solution. Just do it. Uh, the things that have helped also is that I have painted in my sketchbook. So just to loosen up a little bit and then once I was confident enough to do a painting and even then I wasn't really confident enough to do the painting but I just decided to go for it and don't be afraid to experiment. So I am wishing you a wonderful and creative day. I want to thank my awesome patrons for their support throughout the uh, year of 2019 it was exceptional. I'm very grateful for all of you. Uh, thank you for your comments and your support. It means a great deal to me. And uh, here's to a wonderful 2020 for all of us. Let's uh, keep creative and I will see you soon.